Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. In Java, variables are used to store data that can be used and manipulated throughout a program. There are several types of variables in Java, including primitive types and reference types. In this tutorial, we'll go through the basics of variables, their types, and provide example programs. Hashtag 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 types of variables in Java. 1. Primitive data types, these are the most basic data types in Java. They include int, integer type, example 1, 2, 3, double, floating point type for decimal values, example 1.5, 2.5, char, character type, example a, b, 1. Boolean, represents true or false values. 2. Reference data types, these refer to objects and arrays. They include strings, a sequence of characters, example hello, world. Arrays, a collection of elements of the same type, example int. Hashtag 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 declaring and initializing variables. In Java, you need to declare a variable before you can use it. The syntax for declaring a variable is. You can also initialize a variable at the time of declaration. Hashtag 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 example programs. Hashtag 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 example 1, using primitive data types. Output asterisk. Hashtag 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 example 2, using strings and arrays. Output asterisk. Hashtag 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 example 3, variable scope. Output asterisk. Hashtag 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 conclusion. In this tutorial, we covered the basics of variables in Java, including primitive and reference types, how to declare and initialize them, and variable scope. Understanding variables is fundamental to programming in Java, as they allow you to store and manipulate data effectively. You can expand on this knowledge by exploring more complex data structures, like collections and custom objects, as you continue your Java learning journey.